get dunked on, son. What up? What up? Oh, uh, hey there, nerd family. Today we're going to be talking about how to grow taller naturally and what the science says about it. Let's get into it by starting with some myths about height growth as there are quite a few. Jumping rope, drinking tons of milk, playing certain sports like basketball or swimming, hanging upside down from the ceiling like Spider-Man, doing yoga or certain types of exercise, putting salt in your shoes, all of these things are not going to make you taller. And things like caffeine, diet coke, and weightlifting will not stunt your growth. These are all complete myths and have about the same scientific credibility as Bigfoot. So can you actually grow taller after puberty? Just slightly. I will tell you a little bit more about it near the end of the video. Natural growth stops between ages 18 and 25 when your bones ossify and your epipezial plates seal off. Once those plates are sealed, 90% of potential growth is done. So what factors affect growth? Roughly 60 to 80% of your height is determined by genetics while the other 20 to 40% is determined by nutrition and hormone secretion. It's kind of like riding a car with your parents driving. You're not actually in control, but some of the actions you take from the back seat can influence your destination. Here are the five important factors for natural height growth and maximizing your current height. Number one, eat a lot of calories, including protein. After World War II, Japan added a lot more fish protein and calories into their natural diets, and because of this, saw the average height of the country increase by three inches. Countries like Denmark have also shown that the height of the country increases as its wealth and consumption of calories grows. So eat a lot of whole, natural foods, especially during those early years, for more growth. Number two, sleep. Especially during the hours of 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. because those are the most important hours for height hormone secretion. Both human growth hormone and testosterone play vital roles in height and they have massive spikes during that time of rest. So if you're a young person, those late nights on the hotline bling are just not cutting it if you want to be tall. Number three, get lots of vitamin D. Go out in the sun and get up your natural vitamin D because this hormone plays a major role on testosterone secretion. On the days you're not out in the sun, you can supplement with a vitamin D3 liquid. Number four, don't consume crap. While factors improving height are still hotly debated, it is well known that certain foods and substances do stunt one's potential growth. Sodas contain phosphorus, which has been shown to lower bone density. Soy products like tofu and soy sauce contain phytic acid, which can reduce the absorption of calcium in your bloodstream. Children who eat too much sugar tend to be shorter than their peers. Finally, smoking doesn't seem to help either, as it's been documented to stunt growth in teenage boys. If you just focus on consuming lots of dark leafy greens, fresh fruits, whole proteins, healthy fats, and having the occasional treat, you'll be fine. Number five, improve your posture. This is something you can do at any age that will improve your height. Just stand with your butt, shoulders, and back of your head against the wall for 20 minutes a day. This is the correct posture for your spine, and it may feel a little weird the first time you do it. This process alone can add two inches or so to your height, depending on how much slouching you do. Also, consider doing some yoga and stretch out those hip flexors that get weakened from sitting all day. Closing thought, nerd family. What's much more noticeable than one's height is how one carries themselves. There are plenty of tall people who appear appear short and shorter people who appear tall based on their confidence, presence, and overall energy. While there's not much one can do to improve their height, how you feel about yourself and how you love yourself is completely in your control. Also, feel free to check out our free video training on fatlossnerds.com. It may not make you any taller, but it can help you shed excess weight, feel better about yourself, and start to love the way you look. So in summary, you should not fall for myths and common ploys, consume plenty of calories and healthy proteins, sleep, get in vitamin D daily, don't consume crap, and stand tall, nerds. Got a topic for the health nerd to cover? Just put in the comments section below. And rumor has it, for every new subscriber we get, a baby puggle is born. So please subscribe to the health nerd for healthy tips and tricks backed by science. Cheers.